Hello, and welcome back to another ARC How-To Taming video. I am Winslow, and today we're going after the giant bee. It's time for honey. We've got kibble and veggie cakes to make. The honey can also be used to easily tame some specific creatures, and you can toss it on the ground to lure wild animals into a trap. The bees can be found in any of the forests, including the redwoods or along cliffs. You can easily spot and hear their hives when you are nearby. In the redwoods, they are along the giant trees. While technically a passive tame, there is a bit of setup required. I am going to go in full ghillie because you need to not be seen. I'm also taking along some bug repellent and even cactus broth to keep other wild critters from bothering me. Since the hives in the redwoods are on trees, I'm going to try and use a tree platform so I can more easily access them. When I did this before, I used a grapple hook, but it was kind of a nightmare to manage when the bees come out. Most of the hives will be too low on the trees, but you can find some where the hives are higher, and then you can just access them on a platform. Once I've got the platform down, I want to make sure my bird is set on passive so he doesn't go after the bees or the hive itself. If you have a dimorphodon, you can apparently use that to easily break the hives and release the queen, but I haven't tried that. Let's use the bug repellent and cactus broth and see how this goes. When you shoot the hive, it will release anywhere from 5 to 10 bees. With the bug repellent on, they won't notice you. Just don't shoot it again while there are bees out. Once the hive breaks, the queen will come out and she will immediately fly off. Being up this high, I don't think there was much hope to catch her. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I decided to abandon the tree idea and went for a cliffside hive. They can be lower to the ground and you can build a small structure to get up to them. Let's watch and see how this goes. Remember to wait until the drones all die off before shooting again. Before you break the hive, make sure that your simple kibble is on your hotbar in the zero slot. You need to be able to reach the queen before she gets too far away without angering the drones. If they attack you, she won't want to be tamed. I found one last hive near the green obelisk and decided to just enclose it with a wooden building. This way the queen wouldn't be able to fly away. Right? Maybe? Let's watch and see how this goes. A few moments later. 
I gave the bees a while to simmer down, but finally it seemed to work. I was able to break the hive, and the queen wasn't able to fly away. Double bonus, as there was another hive in the same spot, so I was able to get two queens. Well worth the time spent on this project. Thanks again for watching this ARC how-to taming video. I am Winslow, and if you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like. We'll catch up next time. Oh, and don't forget to claim your hives.